Hello and welcome to the India EV Conclave. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Rajiv Johan, who's from BYD India. And it's a great growth story for BYD globally as well as in India. If you would like to start with that, how did you find the Indian market, the nitty gritties, and how, how do you see the future from here? Because it's sort of at that inflection point, it's, it's very soon to be there. Yeah, uh, the Indian story, as far as BYD is concerned, has been very, very good so far. Um, we started three and a half years ago. Uh, we chose segment by segment uh, and that's how we progressed. But today we are extremely proud to say that uh, we have reached a, a very big milestone, a monthly uh, figure of 1000 cars. So, mm -hmm. so that is what we really aimed for uh, in a year back and now we are there. So th this, this definitely looks promising. There are challenges, but uh, I mean with new technology, uh, adoption, there would be challenges any which ways. So you have to, you know, sometimes uh, solve those, sometimes circumvent. Uh, so that's how we are trying to position ourselves. Right. If you look at the overall industry perspective with GST, the gap has sort of narrowed between ICE and GST, uh, EV vehicles, which is sort of seen to be detrimental with the kind of growth that we were expecting. Do you see that impact as well? Um, I would put it in a different way and it connects with the uh, sort of way of auto car as well. I'll bring in auto car sure. in with me. <laughs> so, you know, this whole uh, story and the whole narrative and the whole situation which uh, emerged somewhere in early September. Do mm. you remember those mm. those nervous days yeah. <laughs> when everybody was saying that EVs, uh, there were 10 million combinations that 20 lakhs above car will be charged yeah. like this. GST, GST on EVs thing, was supposed right? to yeah, But go here up. comes, uh, you know, the... the, the the, the part which uh, journalism and especially auto journalism has to play and that's where I would say uh, I think they are up to the job at the moment. Uh, you know, last 10 years I think it is auto uh, and media who has really um, helped India progress towards safer cars. So safety was paramount. Uh, that's what was said in all almost all conversations, mm. you know, so that was one. Uh, and I remember, you know, we, we come to that early September situation. Uh, I vividly remember Horma's uh, giving an interview, perhaps to NDTV. So, you know, there were a lot of people who were saying, a lot of media who were saying absurd things. But then you have to stay calm. You have to hold Long your term nerves. View. And that's where Horma's, uh, and there was one more... Uh, senior media people so so you know you you, you have to you, you you have to say the right things mm. so that the consumers are not affected they are mm. there they do not become more anxious right. so that's what i think is needed the hour the conclaves like these where we get to of course networking is there but then you hear uh, you know so many views and so many possibilities yeah. so so that's what i find it definitely interesting um, and as we concluded um, in the last panel discussion, the you know the the journey has been um, uh, rough, but then perhaps we are reaching to that point. Uh, I mean, we call it inflection point or what? So it's a very uh, difficult definition. Uh, but then um, I think from here uh, it's only way upwards. Mm. That's what mm. uh, we estimate in our circles as well. Yeah. What will it take to sort of reach the in, uh, for the industry to reach the next level? Is it the uh, ramp up of charging infrastructure, which is already happening, and then there is also localization, which is a huge challenge for a lot of EV players today. So, how, what, in your opinion, are some key factors that will help us go to that na next stage? Yeah. So the you know the number which was spoken uh, since beginning was around fifteen to twenty percent of penetration as far as passenger cars are concerned. Mm. Um, Roughly, I see there are three things and there is no fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, the government policy, uh, especially with, relate, with, with relation to GST, I think government has shown their, uh, you know, intention very, very clearly that this uh, GST regime uh, is going to stay. So that is number one. Uh, number two, I would say uh, the, the benefit to consumer is now visible. Mm. Uh, more and more, more and more people they are using EVs. Uh, so this this benefit is uh, you know becoming transparent, and it's 
not because of the conventional marketing i would say it's because of uh, you know the 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 word of mouth total publicity. cost of ownership benefits so, so you, these yeah. are being you know communicated from one customer to another customer so so that is in place uh, the third is uh, i would say uh, the the maturity of the technology mm. uh, which is also taking shape i mean it's a slightly um, you know complex topics perhaps we need half an hour session to discuss that but i think uh, everybody has come to terms with uh, you know the, the, the batteries which are extremely safe the batteries chemistries are roughly similar mm. uh, you know the uh, the the technology around uh, charging capabilities uh, the 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 amount of charge a car can take from a charger you know the, those c ratings and all for for uh, for the cars so so that all has matured and mm. on top of it i think um, the softwares uh, they are definitely providing a, a, a common ground uh, to to not only evs but ice also i mean the softwares around ice and evs are almost similar yeah. adas is like uh, power windows now Correct. right so these three things are in place it's just a, a matter of scaling up and we have to be a little uh, cautious around supply chain that's mm. what uh, was discussed and that is perhaps the the only bottleneck for mm. india to really go to a mm. uh, 15 20% penetration right and localization challenges if you could sort of for, for the industry uh, what what sort of debtors us to become more self reliant localizing supply chains and you know build that scale that you were talking about yeah the see the the localization and the you know supply chain can develop only once they find a scale mm. so uh, fortunately the scale is building up and we cannot just imagine that we, we cannot just think that it will happen tomorrow mm -hmm. it it is going to take its own uh, pace and path uh, but i think it is in the right direction uh, so unless the scale comes in they they are intertwined correct uh, the localization and the supply chain and scale they they have to join hands only then it will click yeah. so we have to just uh, you know hold on to our nerves and and continue in this yeah. direction so what do you have to say about the multiplicity of power trains that uh, approach that india is sort of uh, uh, you know uh, adopting because that is what the future looks like at this point different segments will uh, will adopt different technologies and they will coexist whether it's hybrids it's like clean energy and cleaner fuels that we are going towards so does that sort of, like there's one school of thought which says that it distracts us from the ultimate ev transition and some people say that hybrid is like a good transition technology so where do you stand on that See, from uh, an india context yeah from an indian context i think we have uh, taken a uh, taken an approach that if the goal is ev then rather stay in uh, that field only and work towards that so so that is the approach we have taken in india yes um, it's it's uh, no denial uh, on that for sure that uh, you know the the other type of power trains other type of solutions like plug in hybrid uh, they are definitely useful uh, because india is diverse uh, the, the customer requirements customer segments are uh, needs are different so i am sure uh, you know the eventually uh, we would reach to a solution where uh, you know 30% evs 30% uh you know hybrids and 30% ice i mean that is the combination i feel that in 10 years from now that hmm. would hmm. Uh, they will coexist right uh, if you would want to leave us with a like a little bit of crystal ball gazing in terms of the kind of growth projections that you see for the company and the kind of penetration that you would see for evs in like 10 years for, from now it would be no, that's what i think uh, my colleague is sitting here a panelist uh, so uh, i mean a ballpark estimate uh, in another 5 to 6 years is we are looking at a million plus evs for sure in passenger cars uh, which is a gigantic number mm. i mean 1 million cars is not uh, not the market size for 80% of the countries correct right so so that is good enough yeah. uh, for us uh, so so that is a number a rough number in my mind okay. as well okay and for the company if you would want to share some growth projections what say 5 years for yeah no uh, i mean it's difficult to say what what is going to happen in 5 years for us uh, but yes we are building strength from strength uh, we are trying to position our products in the in the in the wide spaces as they call it uh, so that we can have the maximum uh, you know efficiency uh, 
so so that is what we are trying to position and we will continue to launch products uh, which are uh, which, which are attractive to the customers mm -hmm. and uh, it's 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 their confidence in us it's their confidence on the product and that will bring us more customers yeah, so, so that is our right so the strategy will be focused on premiumization uh, the, obviously the growing suv space you've uh, done very well in the fleet segment uh, gone deeper into the markets that have already sort of done very well for you so anything else apart from you this uh, you would want to no, build further on? of course we would also like to address uh, you know re largely premium cars have reached mm. to tier 1 and mm. partly tier 2 towns so so definitely we would like to go Uh, further that. deep into uh, mm. you know into the geographies of india also okay. so so sure. where we find a business case we would certainly like to experiment sure sure so that's the road map ahead already set for you